Hello, how are your kidneys doing? This is Catherine and welcome to Double O Kidney. Today there are a couple of interesting questions from you that I want to answer. Before we start, I want you to know that tomorrow I'm uploading a new video about some very interesting new treatments for kidney patients. These treatments I'm going to analyze are the most promising right now and there could be some great opportunity for patients you still don't know about. So subscribe and click the notification bell to be certain of being notified about the new video. To the comments now! In my video, how to increase GFR for renal patients, Troy Thompson wrote, Hello, I need help to improve my kidney function. I am only 19 years old and have CKD. My function is at 39%. I need help to control my blood pressure. Hello, Troy. I'm really sorry to hear this. For sure, there are things you can do to improve your kidney function and to manage high blood pressure. First of all, limit sodium intake. A lot of foods are packed with sodium and this is unhealthy for everyone, especially for people suffering from high blood pressure. Be sure to check all the labels of what you're eating and to prefer fruits and vegetables over packaged foods. Then, there's exercising. Now, if you're already exercising regularly, keep doing it. But I know that not everyone can just sign up for a gym subscription and start lifting weights right away. So, if you cannot exercise properly, you can just start going for a walk every day and start using the stairs instead of the elevator, for example. The goal should be to improve day by day, so you will be able to do always better. Yes, this is what really works to lower blood pressure. Now, I don't know your situation directly, so these suggestions are based mostly on statistics. Also, I suggest you watching my video how to lower blood pressure naturally to know about some superfoods proving to lower blood pressure. Now, you are very young and this will give you a lot of possibilities to recover. The most important thing is to never get discouraged. You can beat your disease if you keep fighting it. Wishing you all the best. In my comment video from last week, Glenn Rodman asked, Catherine, can scarring be healed? Hello Glenn and thank you for watching my videos. The answer to your question is no, scarring on the kidneys unfortunately cannot become healthy tissue again, at least with today's medicine. But this doesn't mean that your kidney function cannot be improved. With the right diet and the correct habit for kidney health, both GFR and creatinine levels can be improved. And since these values are strictly correlated to kidney function, this means that kidney function can be improved too. Remember that the kidneys are basically a system with a redundancy, so you don't need them to operate at 100% to conduct a normal life. For example, a GFR of 60, meaning that your kidney function is at 60%, is considered enough to get the job done. Also, there are some new therapies that are promising to be actually able to repair kidney damage and scarring. Since this is the topic of the video I'm uploading tomorrow, I suggest you to watch it. This was our last comment. Do you want me to answer your questions? Just write them down in comment section and I'll do my best to give you an answer in comments or in my next video. This is all for today. If you like this video, please like and leave a comment. Thank you for watching.